Today we check out the cheapest tripod available on Wish.com. For those of you not familiar with Wish.com, it's a massive online marketplace where you can buy literally anything. And whilst it does sell items which are frankly ridiculous and you didn't even know existed, it does sell normal items also at really low prices. The big question though is are they any good? As mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm in the market for a new tripod and having done some research, Wish.com might just be the cheapest place I'll find one. I currently own one full-size tripod and also my desktop tripod which I've reviewed previously on this channel. And occasionally I find myself in a situation where I'm recording a scene where both my tripod and camera need to be in view. Currently the only way I have of doing this is to place my second camera onto a light stand and that doesn't work very well as the light stand doesn't have an adjustable head, meaning that I can't change the angle at which that camera is facing. In fact, the light stand doesn't hold the camera very straight at all, so quite often I'm having to straighten the image in post. Anyway, before we go shopping, there are a few criteria I need my new tripod to meet. Firstly, it must have a maximum height of at least one and a half meters or five feet. I already own one small tripod and have no need for another. Secondly, it needs to be able to hold my full camera setup. That weighs in at around two kilos or 4.4 pounds. So the minimum payload needs to be slightly greater than that to ensure my camera can be held securely. And finally, it must have some kind of adjustable head. It would be amazing to be able to buy a cheap tripod with a ball head and quick release plate. However, I'm just not sure that's going to be the cheapest option. And those are the rules. Let's get on to wish.com and go shopping. Okay, so here we are logged into wish.com. Let's go tripod shopping. As you can see, it's already suggesting some interesting products for me. I definitely need some new pants and uh, what are these? I definitely need some uh, slimming tights. Great. Anyway, let's search for a tripod. Pod for camera. Okay, so quite a few to choose from by the looks of it. Let's check this one out up here. 27 pounds, pretty cheap. So looking at the pictures, it appears to have a ball head, a quick release plate. I think it has one leg which can be detached and use a monopod, which is awesome. Um, now interestingly as I track through these pictures I see two different tripods. This is the one which initially it showed me with the removable leg and the ball head. However in the next picture it then shows me one which doesn't have a removable leg or a ball head. It's actually just got a tilt head. So I'm not 100% sure if I buy this which one I'll actually receive. It would appear I can select different colours but there aren't, as we'll see later on, different qualities to be able to select. A bit strange. Let's take a look at the description. So looking in the description here, it would appear that it could hold my camera set up with a maximum payload of 15 kilos. But looking at the maximum working height, it's 1.4 meters, so slightly less than I was looking for. And it does say down here that the package contents will include the tripod with the ball head and the carry bag, so there's hope. We'll add this one to the wish list and come back to it later to see if it's the winner. So what else do we have in here? Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so this one does appear to have a maximum height of one and a half meters, um, and it appears it also comes with an attachment so you can place your phone on it as well as a camera. Clicking through the pictures, it does look pretty flimsy, but then again, what can you expect for 12 pounds? It's very cheap. And if I hit the size selector here, it appears there are actually two tripods you can choose from. One at just over a meter and one at one and a half meters. So if I select that, uh, the price goes up to 18 pounds. Still really cheap. So looking here, it actually says the maximum height is just over a meter, but I'm guessing that's because it's based on the other tripod you can select, not the taller one. But here's the kicker. This one says it's only got a maximum load of two and a half kilos. So that's a bit close to the actual weight of my camera setup, which comes in at two. But I wouldn't be really that confident this is going to hold my camera securely. So that one's out of the game. What else have we got? Here we go, 18 pounds. So again, it shows a tripod here in the main photo, which has an adjustable head, albeit not a ball head, but that's not the end of the world. And it appears also to have a quick release plate, so that's great. Interestingly, I can select both size and color here. Let's see what happens if I hit size. Oh, amazing, look, I can actually select the quality. Poor quality is generally what I look for on things I buy, so I'm delighted that that's an option. Let's see the price difference. If I go for high quality, it's the same price. Maybe I need to select color. Ah, here we go. Black and high quality, £33, whereas black and low quality, £18. And in the spirit of what I'm doing here, obviously I'd go for low quality to keep it cheap. 
let's take a look down in the description of this one. So I need to focus on this poor quality tripod here. This one is states to have a maximum working height again of 1.4 meters, so that seems to be where I'm stuck at at the moment. And again, a maximum operating weight of 15 kilos, so it would apparently hold my camera set up very easily. Let's add this one to the wish list, as it could be the winner. Right, scrolling through, what else have we got? 26 pounds, and some very familiar photographs here actually. This one looks identical to the first one we looked at, I think. Again, size selection, let's see what it offers me here. Low quality, standard quality, and high quality. Let's have a quick look at the price difference. So low quality in, say, blue, sold out, but would be 26 pounds. Standard quality in the same color, 43 pounds reduced from 218, so that would apparently be a big saving. And finally, high quality in red, let's say, ah, 44 pounds. But obviously, Spirit of Things here is cheap, so we would be going for low quality. Again, very similar to what we've seen previously in the description, maximum working height of 140 centimeters or 1.4 meters, and maximum payload of 15 kilos. So let's add the low quality version of this one in say, red, blue, are any of them in stock? Orange we could have, don't really want orange. Well, it looks like orange it will be. Let's add that to the wish list. Continuing down, nothing else particularly of interest here seen these before that one's slightly more expensive this is much more expensive okay so i think we're going to make a decision from those three let's go and check out my wish list and see which one's going to be the winner okay so here's my wish list with the three items in one at 26 pounds one at 18 pounds and one at 27. now the rules that i've set myself here kind of dictate that i have to go for the cheapest one so let's check out the 18 pound one again so I remember I was going for poor quality, always what I'm after, and I might choose this in orange. See that's in stock. No, it's sold out. Let's go for black. That appears to be in stock. It has a 1.4 meter height, slightly under what I was looking for, but that seems to be the normal one here. And it does have the ability to hold 15 kilos of weight, so well over what I need. I think this is a winner, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Checking out, checking out. Ah, six pounds postage, they always get you with the postage. PayPal, PayPal, PayPal. <sighs> Verification code. Jeez. Identity confirmed. Place order. Oh, you must know my name and address. Boom, ordered, all done. Excellent, okay. So it gave me an estimated arrival date between the 4th and the 8th of April. And today is the 24th of March, so a couple of weeks time. As soon as it arrives, I'll unbox it and we can review it and see if a cheap tripod like this is actually worth buying. See you later. So a mere 18 days after placing the order, this arrived in the mail. And the one thing I will say straight off the bat is it feels really light, which could be an amazing thing or actually really bad. But we won't know until we've opened it. So cue the unboxing montage. Okay, so having spent some time going over the tripod, the good news is it's a tripod. And that's pretty much where the good news ends. The alarm bells really started ringing when I saw the box. As you can see on the side here, it gives you some indications as to the functions of the tripod, what it can do. And when scanning down them, I suddenly saw that the maximum height here was listed at just over a meter, not the 1.4 meters that was shown on Wish. I double checked the listing to make sure I'd actually received the right tripod and it matches. This is the 3120A, which it says on Wish also, so I did get the right thing. And having stood the tripod up for the first time, it clearly reaches just over a meter. So a bit disappointing. I didn't get what I paid for or what I wanted. Oh well, let's take a look at the rest of the tripod, starting at the top here with the head. On the positive side, it is a three-way adjustable head. But again, that's pretty much where the positives end. It is made of really flimsy plastic and the locking mechanisms for all of the movements feel like they'll just break if you slightly over tighten them. 
The head is actually so lightweight that I have zero confidence it'll actually be able to hold my camera setup, let alone the 15 kilograms that it states it could actually hold. Moving on, the center column of the tripod can be used to adjust the height along with the legs. But again, the one thing I would say is the metal that this is made out of is probably the most lightweight and cheap metal I've ever actually felt. It feels really weak, as though I could probably bend this with my bare hands. And sorry to shock you, but I'm no bodybuilder. And the locking mechanism for the column, again, is just a very cheap and flimsy screw. The one thing I would say about it is it does lock pretty tight, so one small positive. The legs themselves are made up of four metal sections, but once again, it is that really cheap lightweight metal that we saw with the center column. And they are extended with these little tiny lever locks. Now, generally, I do prefer a tripod with lever locks over the twist type. However, I don't think I've ever seen such small and feeble locks as these. And these leg locks are so weak that even when fully extended and locked, I can actually very easily put the tripod on the floor and apply a little tiny bit of downward pressure and you'll see that the legs just collapse into each other. They're very weak and very poor. Overall, the build quality of this tripod is atrocious. And I know that I selected something which was listed as poor quality, but I really do think there is a difference between poor quality and fit for use. In my mind, I think you would be mad to actually put any kind of decent camera setup onto this. I just don't think it will stand up to any kind of stress. So to find out whether or not this is actually fit for purpose, there's only one thing to do. Try and put my camera setup onto it. The bit I've been dreading. Okay, so to give the tripod a chance, I've taken off my monitor and microphone assembly. It's only going to be holding the camera. And remember, this stated that it could hold up to 15 kilos. I put the camera on, and I can already feel that the head is starting to bend not filling me with confidence at all. So upright, you can see it's holding the camera at a pretty severe angle. It feels like it might snap at any moment. Let's lay it flat. Okay, and putting it flat, as you can see, it's holding the camera, but it's not holding it straight. It's drooping forwards with the weight of the lens. I have very little faith that this could actually hold my camera for any length of time. It may drop it at any moment. And if I put the additional weight on of the monitor and the microphone, I don't think it would hold it at all. If this can hold 15 kilos, then I can lift up my car. So Tom, I hear you all shouting. You paid £18 for this tripod. What did you expect? And maybe you're right. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh and expecting too much. The only way to tell is to go and look and see what I could have bought for around the same price. So I've come onto a website here that I use often to buy photography equipment and they've never let me down. Let's see what they've got in the way of cheap tripods. So I've already conducted the search. I've searched for tripods and ordered low to high in price. And straight away I can see there's a tripod here available for $11.99. Now that's a bit cheaper, so let's see what I can get for slightly more money. Here we go, £18.99, the Hammerstar 61 tripod. Now straight away, just looking from the picture, I can see this looks far sturdier than the tripod I got sent from Wish. And looking at the specification straight away, you can see that this has a maximum height of over one and a half meters and can hold over three kilos of weight. And whilst that isn't the 15 kilos that my other tripod purported to hold, there's no way that could hold three. It also says it's got a quick release plate, it's got a spirit level, and overall, I think this looks like a far better deal than the cheap tripod I bought from Wish. And these guys do free postage, so even though I paid £18 for the one from Wish.com, I had to pay £6 postage on top. That makes this a cheaper, and I bet you, better option. So you can see, the cheap tripod I bought from Wish.com, which cost me £18, didn't really end up being that cheap at all. What I received was completely unusable. I would have been far better off coming onto this website and buying something which is actually of some use to me. So to summarize, whilst I'm sure there are lots of really great inexpensive items available on Wish.com that really meet the expectations that their write-up provides, I'm afraid the little tripod I bought was a massive disappointment. Some of the specifications weren't even met, such as the height, and the build quality of the tripod is terrible. I really don't think it could hold any kind of camera setup for any period of time. It's totally unusable. Should I have expected this outcome from the amount that I paid? Well, no. Looking on reputable camera gear websites, you can clearly see that I can get a very usable tripod even cheaper than the one I bought on Wish. There's an old adage that says, buy cheap, buy twice, and that was certainly the case here. I'm afraid the tripod I got is complete junk. But will that stop me shopping on Wish.com? Probably not. So that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any feedback or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, have a great day.